using geometry formulas. A quick note about units. Area is always squared to the second power, so feet squared, inches squared, centimeters squared, so on. Volume is always cubed or to the third power. Everything else is just to the first power. Example one, find the radius of a circle given its diameter, express the answer as a simplified fraction. So you can see we have a circle and the diameter is shown as nine millimeters. Step one, write the general formula. Well, we know the diameter is twice the radius or D equals two times R. True, but not helpful because we're trying to find the radius. So we want to rewrite it. So it says radius is the diameter divided by two. That's better. Step two, replace the variable slash constant, those are the letters, with the values from the problem. Well, the diameter is given as nine. That goes in for the D. So radius is nine divided by two. Now we do the arithmetic using the order of operations and we get nine over two. There's not much to do here. I put the answer in the form requested. Since they wanted just a simplified fraction, we don't have to do anything else other than attach the units to it. So it's not an area and not a volume. It's just as is millimeters. If they'd asked for a decimal, then we'd have to divide it. If they'd asked for a mixed number, then we'd have to convert. But here it just says simplified fraction. So the answer is nine halves millimeters, nine over two millimeters. Example two, find the area of a circle given its diameter. Use 3.14 for pi, round to the nearest tenths. So you can see we got a circle. The diameter is shown as six inches. Step one, write the general formula. Well, area equals pi r squared. Step two, replace the variables constants with the values from the problem. Pi we're told to use is 3.14. And the radius, we weren't given the radius, but because we were given the diameter, which is six, we know the relationship between the radius and the diameter, so the radius is three. The formula calls for the radius, so that's what we put in, three. Then we do the arithmetic using the order of operations. Three squared is nine, so 3.14 times 9, which gives us 28.26. Put the answer in the form requested. In this case, round to the nearest tenth. So there's our tenth position. We have to look one to the right. Six is five or higher, so it raises the two to a three. So it's 28.3. Tack on the units. It's an area, so it's going to be the second power. It was inches, so it's inches squared. So the answer is 28.3 inches squared. Example three, find the volume of a sphere having a radius of five centimeters. Use 3.14 for pi, round to the nearest tenth. You can see we have a sphere, a ball. Write the general formula. Well, the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. Might be easier to write it this way, four pi r cubed over three. Either way will work. I prefer this way. So it's four times pi times the radius cubed. So we plug in the values. Step two, replace the constants and letters with the values from the problem. So pi we're told is 3.14. The radius we can clearly see is five. Step three. Do the arithmetic using the order of operations. So 5 to the third power gives us 125. So 4 times 3.14 times 125, all over 3. So 4 times 3.14 gives us 12.56. Then we multiply that times the 125, which gives us 1570 over 3. And it comes out to be 523.3333333. Put the answer in the requested form, round to the nearest tenth. Nothing changes because 3 is less than 5. So it's 523.3. We're talking volume, so it's centimeters cubed.
Example four, find the area of the indicated parallelogram. So we're given the top base one is nine, base two, the bottom is 13, and the height is five. All right, the general formula. Well, the area of a trapezoid, this happens to be a trapezoid, is one half the height times the sum of the two bases. Okay, so that's what the picture would look like for a trapezoid. I prefer to write it this way, which is it'll be on the formula sheet that we provide. Height times the sum of the bases, all divided by two. Place the variables, constants, letters, with the values from the problem. So the height is five. Base one is nine. Base two is 13. Do the arithmetic using the order of operations. So nine plus 13 is 22. Five times 22 is 110, which reduces very nicely to 55. But the answer in the form requested, they didn't give us any form. So it's feet squared because it's an area. So it's 55 feet squared. Sample five, find the volume of a cone having a radius of seven inches and a height of 10 inches. Use 22 over seven for pi. Write answer as a simplified fraction. Step one, write the general formula. One third pi r squared h. So now we're going to put the letters, put the values in for the letters. Pi we're given is 22 over 7. The radius is 7. And the height is 10. I like to see my fractions here since I've got a pi as a fraction. Makes it easier to tell what's on top, what's on the bottom. Now we do the arithmetic using the order of operations. 7 squared gives us 49. I'm going to go ahead and reduce at this point. And then I'm going to multiply the top and then multiply the bottom. And I end up with 1540 over 3. Put the answer in the form requested. It's a simplified fraction. And I can't do anything with it. I put the units on it, and it's inches cubed. 3 doesn't go into 1540, so I'd leave it as is. So there is 1540 over 3 inches cubed.